This is our invincible ant colony, and they are doing all they can to escape. With hundreds of new ants enclosing every day and more queens fighting to lay more eggs, the empire is becoming a real threat to keep safe. Craving a bigger and bigger food source and always on the road to escape if not satisfied. These ants are truly monsters and will eat everything served, not stopped by anything. With the ability to inbreed, the empire expands infinitely big as all that can stop them is a lack of food and water. This is the story of the unstoppable ant empire and how we try to keep them safe. Deep down in the caves of the ant colony, workers are creating more and more queens. With an unbelievable brood pile, the empire is looking at an explosion of worker ants. Thousands of queen ants are pumping out new eggs, ready to develop into even more ants. Throughout the caves, workers can be seen expanding, biting and pulling the nest material to create even more space for the rapidly expanding empire. In the caves, walkways are created and special brood chambers can be seen constructed. As the colony digs further down, the temperature starts rising and the ants respond with moving their brood further down. More heat means a faster growth, meaning a bigger empire. The ants know this and focus more of their attention boring down with an even faster rate. With long and narrow hallways, traffic increase as more and more ants get to work. From an outside, the ants look disorientated, but the workers all have different purposes and jobs to do. This means the narrow walkways quickly fill up. The ants know this and set out to build other tunnels running parallel to each other, avoiding the chance of a traffic jam. Virgin males and female relates can be seen throughout the caves. Normal ants fly up and mate but our colony is different, they are specialized. Their relates are genetically different from each other, making them able to inbreed with their own. Therefore, they never need to exit the empire and will keep expanding more and more as new queens lay even more queens. It's a never-ending cycle as there is nothing to stop the empire. Every new virgin queen ant will, unlike normal ants, not fly out and start their own colony. No. They'll stay safe, hidden and underground, helping the empire dominate their surroundings, killing all that threatens them. This means we need to keep them inside at all costs and not let them escape. An escape could lead to mass destruction and death among our other colonies as they don't stand a chance against an infinite amount of workers. Worst case scenario, this empire would live in my apartment, something that must be avoided at all costs. But with an unstoppable amount of queens, the thirst for protein has grown exponentially. The battleground littered with death. All that remains are the carcasses of their last meal, hollowed out with no meat meaning. The hollowed out carcasses tell the story of their last meal. Workers responded in their strong forces while queens followed. Even though queens should be protected at all costs, never leaving their nest, these are different. These queens are replaceable, meaning not only are they egg-laying machines, but they also take the job of worker ants, going out searching for food. The colony is desperately searching through the dry carcasses. Everything has a cost, and even a large empire relies on food to survive. So the search continues as their last meal hunts them with the once filled insides.
with an uncountable number of Queen Anne's laying eggs at a constant, there's also an even higher amount of larvae to feed. Hungry larvae scream for more food as workers are sent out to do anything to find protein. The colony's hungry, with workers responding with testing the barriers and seeing if there's any weak spots to overcome and escape. Not only are the workers out, even Queen Anne's are eager to get away from the colony and branch out and start a satellite nest, giving the Empire an even bigger area to dominate. But as the colony tested and started bypassing the barriers, an unknown beast was discovered. Bigger than the colony had seen before, they had to respond. With the wilderness as the challenger, the Empire had to take the meal down before anyone else could discover this beast. Attacking from all sides, the skin was quickly breached, with blood emerging. But this did not stop the Empire. New workers and Queen Anne's were responding at a constant. Any blood was pumped out by the colony. A constant of biting and pulling from all directions. But the beast was big. Even hours of work showed no visible progress. But meat was being eaten and the hungry larvae could finally be satisfied. We interrupt this episode with an important message. Have you checked out the merch yet? You haven't? A link will be shown in the description. And if you enjoyed this episode, remember to subscribe and smash that bell icon. Trust me, the ants will need it. And you will feel better after. Back to the video. 12 hours after the beast was discovered. The Empire was still hard at work, but they were starting to have more meat than the mouths to feed. The beast looked unharmed from afar, but a close-up showed that the ears were now gone and had worked as a way into the meat of the beast. The mouth had also been used in a similar way to breach and get into the beast. But the Empire had what they wanted. A protein source larger than needed. But nothing can be wasted. More queens than workers were now at the site. Bones of the beast were starting to show internals falling out. And yet, no time to slow down. 24 hours after the first sight of the beast. Skin was peeled away, but the Empire had still no plans of slowing down. The internals of the beast were now outside the body. Bones were more visible. The beast had been delivered, and the Empire had been able to work undisturbed. In the deep caves, the next job had started. With more meat than needed, workers quickly got into the work of feeding the young larvae. Meat chunks could be seen throughout the caves, the skin of the beast calling for attention. Where queen ants lay the eggs and go out to hunt, they don't do much with the ant brood. The workers take this job very seriously and 24 hours a day can be seen cleaning the brood, turning the brood, moving the brood to the optimal condition and most importantly, feeding the larvae. If the brood lays forgotten, mold, insects or death by starvation will occur if the workers forget. Therefore, a search is important. No brood can lay unattended because in the wilderness of nature, enemies can lay right around the corners. Guards stand and keep an eye out for danger. With the correct smell, ants are allowed into the colony, but no foreigners are welcome in the empire. With this system, no one is left behind and the task of keeping everything in order gets harder. But all workers have a job to do. And with the help of the Empire combined, they stay safe, growing faster than ever. In the cave, only one member of the colony is left jobless. The male ants observe in confusion as their job is to mate and nothing else. If male ants are located badly, 
they take the job of a traffic cone. But without them, the empire would crumble. They may look worthless, but without them, the Virgin Queens would never be able to dominate the egg production, and the exponential growth wouldn't be possible. Therefore, the worthless males contribute to nothing to the empire itself, and yet, without them, it wouldn't exist. But the colony grows fast, and new ants are waking up at an expanding rate. As the workers wake up, they set out to help the Empire. Once a worker wake up, they slowly get used to their new bodies. But once control is found, the newly woken ant takes the job of cleaning the young. No time is wasted in the Empire, and once you are fed, you are good to work. With a never-ending job of cleaning the brood, breaks are needed. But the Empire doesn't want to be on the back foot of anything. Workers therefore take small power naps throughout the day, ensuring readiness to respond to any danger that may come. As the Empire expands, a great amount of nest material is ripped away. Once they remove, the garbage is relocated outside in the dump spot. But the Empire is clever. The trash has a second meaning. As the pile grows larger, the Empire uses it as a new way to escape. But this cannot happen. The ants cannot leave, but the Empire is a well-oiled machine. Nest material is moving faster up as a struggle to keep the garbage spot down. With the Empire expanding at a rapid pace, we need to find a way to keep the colony locked in, or else we may lose them to the wilderness of the ant room, something I would avoid at all costs. Therefore, a second layer of defense is built. A water barrier would keep the colony in for longer Although it's only a matter of time before they realize that they can breach the gap with their bodies. For now, we watch as the Empire tests their ability to control their empire. Expanding at a rapid pace, creating more queens and workers to help the Empire dominate. In the last six months, the Empire have managed to grow from four queens to more than I can count. The only question is, how will we keep them safe? for the next six. This has been the story of the world ending ant empire. Thank you to Ant Antics for supplying me with these ants. A discount code will be shown in the description. The colony is living in an ant store dick fix nest together with our cushy Saturn nest and lastly a DIY outworld. A link to all the products used in this video will be found in the description. Thanks to all the members for supporting me and once more, check out the merch if you haven't. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe.